With Mathematica, you no longer need to use a separate program for putting together a nice presentation. In less than a minute, you can turn your entire notebook, including your text, typeset equations, data, graphics, and interactive models into a dynamic slideshow. Let's add a new section called Presentations by using that Alt-4 keyboard shortcut, uh, and we'll add a subsection by using Alt-5, and we'll call that uh, Result Slideshow. So as we've gone through these videos, I've built up this notebook of different examples, and maybe now I want to take this notebook and present it to my class or my colleagues or, or manager or whatever. But even though the notebook is nicely formatted with this hierarchical uh, cell structure, I want to put it into a slideshow format that I can page through my slide deck as I present my material. To do that, we'll open the slideshow palette by choosing Palettes and Slideshow. From this palette, I can either create a brand new slideshow or I can create a slideshow for my current document, i.e. This, this notebook. And that's exactly what I want to do. So once I click that button, it asks me where I want to insert my slide breaks. And it's showing me uh, the logical choices based on the type of cells I have in my document. Like, do I want to have a new slide every time there's an input cell? Or do I want a new slide every time there's a new section, etc. I'm going to break it up by sections. So I will check that box and click the Insert button. Once I do that, I see that special cells have been inserted into my notebook that break it up into different slides. And there is one inserted each time uh, there is a new section cell. Now, all I have to do is to choose Slideshow from the View Environment button on the palette. Or I can use the Format and Screen Environment menu to do the same thing. Now my notebook is displayed as a slideshow uh, instead of a notebook. There are slide controls at the top, so I can use the drop-down menu to jump to a particular slide, and I can page back and forth using the navigation buttons. In addition, there are some other changes that happen when displaying as a slideshow. For example, the text is automatically enlarged to make reading easier, and the cell brackets are hidden by default as to not distract from the presentation. Although, I can see the cell brackets reappear as I mouse over them uh, to the right edge of the window. There is also a button to place my slideshow in full screen mode uh, to really put the focus on what I'm presenting to my audience. The great thing about using Mathematica for presentations is that you have access to all of the interactivity that makes Mathematica so great and easy to work with. When you present in most other systems, you are showing a static document. But with Mathematica, everything is dynamic. For example, remember our division of uh, 224 by 24,248 on slide 5. If I go back to that slide and append a 2 on the end and reevaluate, I have a new result that I can discuss. And if someone says, hey, I don't really know what that fraction is, I can quickly add in a uh, percent sign to get an approximate result. You have the flexibility of adapting your presentation on the fly to your audience because at your fingertips are all of the Wolfram language commands that make Mathematica so useful. Now, let me go on to the last slide. Uh, I'm going to make one more subsection called Traditional Form for Results. You've seen me do a lot of calculations uh, so far, and hopefully you've been doing those along with me. So let's go back and remind ourselves of one, because there's an important point I want to make. We have the uh, horizontal I-beam to make a new input cell. Let's go to Palettes and choose Classroom Assistant Palette again. We're going to navigate to the Calculus tab and click on the Indefinite Integral button to paste in a template. And now I'm going to fill this in uh, by using my keyboard. So I'm going to type the number 1 and then the control uh, and fraction sign together to make the two-dimensional fraction bar, and then an open parenthesis, uh, 1 minus x. And I want to raise that to the, the x to the third power. So I'm going to hit control 6 to make a two-dimensional superscript, and then the number 3. Uh, and then I'm going to hit uh, control space to get out of the um, superscript and close that parenthesis off. I'll hit tab uh, to, to jump to the next placeholder, and then I'm going to type X, uh, and then go ahead and hit Shift-Enter to evaluate. 
Now you'll notice that the output of this command looks the same as other Wolfram language code. We've got capital letters on the function name, square brackets, uh, etc. That's great because it reinforces the rules that we've learned earlier and that we've been putting into good practice. But when thinking about doing presentations for my class or my colleagues, I might want them to focus on the content of what I'm presenting and not necessarily on how I got those results. So I'd like my formatting to look a little more familiar with them. If I go to the Edit menu and choose Preferences, and I go to the Evaluation tab, one of the options that I can set is the format type of new output cells. As you see, the default setting is Standard Form, um, which is the Wolfram Language presentation of things with the capital letters and square brackets, etc. But I'm going to change that to be Traditional Form instead. Now after I do this, I'm going to close the Preferences window and then reevaluate that integral uh, by hitting Shift Enter. This time you'll see the result looks a lot different. It looks more like the traditionally typeset mathematics you might see in a textbook or a paper. If I like the look of traditional form, uh, but I don't want to toggle my preferences back and forth, I can set my output cells back to standard form, and I can convert my cells one at a time by right-clicking and choosing Convert to Traditional Form. I can even convert input cells as well as output cells uh, this way. Now, in the uh, upcoming and last video, we'll go through a complete example from start to finish, incorporating all the things we've learned thus far.